Thank you very much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome back to another Repop with me. Yes, there will be more content down the line guys. I'm a little bit behind. So we're doing another Repop with me. I also do actually, to be fair, have some work to do. And this today is what we're going to do. So it's a bit smelly in here. I'm just gonna, you know, if you had smell a vision you could smell this. It smells a bit rotty up in here. So I have some chocos, beautiful philodendron El Choco Red. We love them, great plant. Well, great most of the time. A little bit rot, not a ton, if I'm honest, only bits. We have those and we have, I God, I wish I could remember the name of these guys because they're so tough. We have some, it's a hybrid. Right, it's a hybrid. Philodendron Tenue by something else, and I can't remember what the hell it was, but let me tell you, it's tough. It is tough as nails, holy shit. Like the deterioration on those versus these, there isn't any deterioration on these. There's no rot, there's no nothing. The roots on these are very woody. Um, I don't know what that's come from. It's, I don't think it's come from the, the tenue. I think it's come from something else. But anyway, we're going to clean them up. I do actually have behind me that you will not see. I have two buckets that are maybe only about two inches full of water and they're just going to go into there once I've cleaned them up and I will do all of one, put them in the bucket, shake them around, leave them there, all of the other one. If we have time, I will pot them. I just don't like potting on camera because it's very noisy. Every time I speak, I have to be like, oh, wait a minute, and then it gets all choppy and it's just annoying, just annoying. So we're going to be doing that. I'll just take my time. I've got some stuff to pick off the roots and stuff like that, bits of debris, some crunchy leaves, shit like that. So we're just going to do that and I will get my gloveys on. And we'll get some questions because following on the theme from last week, I asked you guys to ask me some questions and I said I'll either answer them or I won't. So we have some today. So let's get these on. I've written them down and I can barely read my own fucking handwriting. I'm going to be honest, I have scrolled these down. But let me just put my phone over there because I don't need it. And the reason I write them down, there's no weird reason. One, they're anonymous anyway. Two, I don't have to pick up my phone when I've got like crap on my hands. I can just look at a notepad and read the question. There's no weird reason. It's more practical than anything else. Let's just get these on. I have a few questions to be fair. Oh, the thing that I want to mention first uh, is the merch. I've already mentioned this. This should have been in last week's video. It was in the last report, but here is my merch. Hopefully you can sort of see it. If I come to the camera, it's probably gonna chop a lot of it off. Will it? Hmm, yeah. Sorry guys, it's just set up for a certain reason, but this is my long boys merch. So. The merch features the word long boys, a collection of long boys, and underneath the plant names are right here on my belly. And my, what should, how should I say this? My inspiration for this was kind of like 80s, 90s rock bands, movie posters, that kind of aesthetic. I really like that kind of aesthetic. So that's why it looks like this. It's a little bit more alternative, a little bit. It's just like leaning on it a little bit. So that is the reasoning for my design. You will find it in my description. You should find it sometimes if you're on PC, I think on mobile phone as well. There's probably a carousel under the video. Feel free free to head on over and collect that. I'm pretty sure it should ship in time for Christmas as of you seeing this. As of seeing this video might be touch and go, but hopefully you've got it. Hopefully you've got it. And before we start, I just want to give a very quick thank you for last week's video. Um, I said a few things. I said a few things. I'm going to say a few more things today, so stay tuned. Um, I said a few things and you guys were so, so nice about it. It was so nice. I didn't get a single bad comment. Not, not, guys, not one, not one bad comment, not one bad comment. How good is that? How good is that? So I just want to not thank you for not making bad comments and thanking you for your support and just for how nice you were and how supportive you were, whether it was the Rainbow Club stuff, the tattoo stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to turn that ring around because it likes to come through my glove. Any of it, really. I just want to thank you for that because you're all super nice and super supportive. So thank you for having me. Anyway, let's get started. I'm thinking Choco and I think I'm going to move these so you can sort of see what I'm doing a bit more because so far this is just a big bush. I need to see how much you can see of the table. So let's just move these. Oh, these are so good. They're so good. I will sell these, by the way. Um, I don't know, and this no one's asked me here, but people have asked through emails to the shop um, when shipping to the US or international, I should say, resumes. I don't know if it's going to resume this year. So if I sell these this year, they might be UK only. And I want to see how ready they are. I'd like a little bit of growth from them. And some of them have, to be fair. They're definitely popping new leaves, just the roots haven't grown much, which I suspect is just a trait of that plant. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let's... Oh, I've got a drippity drip. 
condensation because it's cold outside. It's literally, I think where my horse is, it's like minus fucking four. Um, it's not that bad here. It's maybe like one degrees, but the condensation's coming in because the sun's hitting the unit. It's all very good. Right. The tea is, can you see this? No, as usual. We know, guys. We know it's not really that kind of vibe. If I ever do any repotting in my house, uh, again, it's probably easier to see. It's very difficult to film in there and a few people ask me like, oh, when are we going to see your house? Blah, blah, blah. Um, at some point, I guess, when there's stuff to see, there's just nothing to see yet. Um, in terms of filming in there, I want to film in there. It's actually just very difficult in the kitchen because I have skylights and if the sun comes and goes, I can't be running backwards and forwards to change camera settings every two seconds. So it will get done, but I think I need some blinds on the skylights or something like that to control the light a bit more. But I'm sure it'll get done. Right, let's get a question while I decide. Oh, you know what? I thought that was rot, but I don't think it is. It's just a dark colour. These might not be rot at all. I mean, it, there is a smell, so something must be on the turn, right? I can smell rot. So... I have covered the merch. Fertilizer, real quick. So a lot of people are asking me, a lot of people, a lot of people are asking me about the fertilizer coming to the EU. Now, to be completely honest, we've put less effort into that of late. And the reason is because Amazon have absolutely had our lives. We thought it was fixed. And I might have even told you a few videos ago, hey, it's finally been approved on Amazon, blah, 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 blah. Um, we thought it had, but then it hadn't. <laughs> so we've then gone through more rigmarole of sorting it. And I'm I think I want to be pleased to tell you that it's now fine and it's now ready to send off. I have a small amount of units to send to Amazon that are all boxed up, ready to go, labelled. You've got to do things a certain way for Amazon. So oh, can I can I show you what I mean? Uh, one second, I might be able to show you what I mean because there are certain things. Sorry, you can hear me, but you can't see me. There are certain things you have to do and this would be one of them. We had one literally bust on us and we thought we'd test the sealing with it, right? So this is not how the product looks on Amazon. Obviously it is sealed and the product is not coming out of it. This is obviously just to throw away. But what you would get on Amazon, this is the worst advert ever. What you would get on Amazon is the cap is now uh, stuck onto that. I've actually vacuum sealed them onto the top and for Amazon's sake, it'll be sold to you in this. This will not happen, guys. Something with terrible would have to happen for this to happen. Um, this is because we've deliberately put one that wasn't sealed quite correctly in here to test the seal. But we have a new sealing machine that puts them in this just for safety purposes because it's a hazardous liquid. And if I could show you the boxes that they go out in, that might be helpful. If no one has seen them, I'll just take one out that is packaged like this very quickly because why not? They look like this so that you'll get them in a package like that. And if you see, there's a little bit of plastic sticking out there where it's in that sealed box and then it's just gone out one of these and then Amazon has its own proper sticker. So that's actually how they're stored. Oh, let's, uh, let's not drop that. So that's actually how they're stored. I'm going to put that back in because it's been carefully counted. But I don't have a ton of units there because honestly, Obviously, as a seller, it, again, it's a new brand and I've been selling them through the shop, but I don't know how many units are going to sell on Amazon. So we are sending over a reasonably small batch, but if that batch sells really quickly, then obviously we'll just work right away. We've got plenty to send over. We'll send a shit ton over. It's just I don't really know how quickly that's going to shift. And if you've never sold on Amazon before, you have to pay for the square footage of like floor space that you take up in their warehouse and they're going to charge you by literally the square foot and it's X amount a month. So to save us sending loads of product that might not shift from there but to keep it here it's free we're doing that so really it just depends on how quickly it sells as to you know anything else but we can replenish it in 48 hours it's not a problem i've got pallets full in front of me not a problem so that's the tea with that anyway eu again because of all this we've just been a bit distracted so it's not that we won't be doing it but when we did forecasts for moving into the eu obviously part of those forecasts were from the sales coming in from amazon which haven't happened yet so we're a little bit behind you can blame jeff bezos i mean we blame him for a lot anyway but you can definitely blame him for that so i'm just cutting any yellow leaves off because this guy's cute I'm just going to check his situation. See, this is all fine. Is there anything rotty? Because I don't feel like there is. Like, even I'm squeezing all these and they're actually really intact. I've actually had some new growth since it's come in. There's a little pinky vein there. Vein? It's not a vein. It's not a vein. It's a root. Why did I say a vein? So weird. So weird. 
If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant shop and it's working really, really well for me. If you don't quite know where to start, you can always use the inbuilt wizard which will guide you towards the recommended templates for the kind of website you would like to make. Once you have your selected template, follow the instructions on screen and you'll be set up in no time. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you very much, Squarespace. And back to the video. I was a tiny bit on the edge of that. But generally, I think they're actually solid. There's, I mean, it's negligible, really, the amount of rot. Like, even that feels all right. I might trim it anyway, in case on the off chance that it isn't, and it's on the turn. Just trim a little bit of it. But this is essentially what I'm doing with all these guys. So if I get through all of these, then I will pot up. Uh, there's some little ones here that rot. But otherwise, I'll just be doing this. Uh, so it's not going to be very visual. I don't know what you can see. I'd love to work on having you see these better. I have soft boxes here, but I don't think that's going to do much, is it? Don't really want the soft box in the frame. You almost need like a table with like a lip on the bottom that I can tilt slightly or something stupid like that. I don't know. Anyway, right, next question. Not that I want to fly through them. Someone asked me very quickly if Mysterious Dark Boy right here was Velvet or Matt. You know who you are. Uh, he is Matt and he is... He's, at the minute, he doesn't look very dark. Why is that? Maybe it's just my eyes. But he's definitely Matt. He's not Velvet in the slightest. I think he comes off so dark and Matt and velvety because he is Matt and dark. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I should have just said, yeah, he's Matt. And left it at that. Left it at that. Anyway, that was a very quick one that someone asked. And there's been a lot of questions come in this week, by the way. But obviously, I can't answer them all in the time. But two seconds. I don't know how long I've been filming for. That's absolutely preposterous. There we go. Right. So I think he's okay. Oh, what are you? No, you look fine. I've got new roots. I'm quite impressed with that, to be honest. I don't usually get new roots this quick. See, this, like, on site, this plant looks really rotty, but it, it's it's actually not. Very surprised. Yeah, there's the odd root, but they're very small. Cut that off. I mean, I'm talking like the um, the secondary roots, you know what I mean? Not the primary root, roots. Can't speak to the... Why can I never speak when I film anymore? It's even that. This might be a check this in a week situation, I think, when these are potted up, just in case these darker roots, they do have a problem, but it hasn't quite kicked in. So they've turned, but they, they're they still... Um, what's the word? What's the word? Rigid. Hard. That's the word. Um, so we'll save. We'll leave that. Right. I don't really want to put the choco in the crap that I've cut off but we might just have to guys we might just have to right then next face jan oh he's cute obviously needless to say we'll uh oh excuse me take that off and we'll just throw it we'll just throw it and then we'll have a little look at what he's doing see what he's got going on oh i shouldn't wipe that when i got makeup on because my setting spray is not really holding me down what have we got uh oh these aren't in order uh oh the cats the cats somebody asked me why I purchased my cats instead of adopting. And it's, I might have answered this before, I don't know, but essentially it's easier to answer your question by telling you the story of the cats. That's easier. And then I'll talk around that. So I first, the cats were born in, I almost want to say like February or something. Um, and I knew they were going to be born because the breeder happens to be a very good, uh, well, she was in it more of an acquaintance at the time, a very good friend of mine at the livery where my horse is, right? I know her reasonably well. She's given me riding lessons. She's ridden my pony for me to like sort of see where he's at and blah, 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 blah. All good. Knew her anyway. And I knew that she had two British short hairs, uh, two ladies, um, one lilac, one blue. And I knew that she was breeding because she was taking them to shows and doing all the rest because I think to breed, you've got to, got to have some good stock about you. So she was doing all that. I knew she was having kittens. And I remember, was it, I was watching someone else in the arena. I don't think it was 
her. I don't think it was, I don't even know who it would have been, but I was on the side of the arena and I was talking with two other women and one of them was like, oh, you want, you'll be wanting one of them, Kaylee. And I was like, what? She was like, oh, you know, this woman is, is she's having kittens. And I, and I literally turned around and went, don't, don't, don't mention them. Don't show me them. I don't want to know. Absolutely not. Because I'll just take them all. Don't even, don't even speak to me about them. And it was mentioned a couple of times and they're like, go on, you know, you want one because obviously they could tell that I would have had a kitten. And uh, I was like, no, 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 no. I've just got a house. I'm not even I'm not even ready for that shit no 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 don't even I don't want to see him don't don't who doesn't love kittens you know what I mean um but anyway fast forward to when I was on holiday if anyone remembers that that was late March I think late March early April I went to Egypt for must have been two weeks and they'd not long been born mm. and I got a sense of well, I say they'd not long been born they were about six weeks old so they their eyes were open and oh they were so small you will have seen um these the the videos that I'm talking about in my kitten video you'll have seen them because I took you through everything but I saw videos of them and I just I all but died on the sun lounger to be honest I was like oh don't so I thought right 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 let's not jump into this this is insane uh <laughs> it's very insane what I need to do is I need to think, right, do I want a cat? Do I, can I, can I handle that with everything? What's, you know, what's the benefits, whatever. Also, is this the right breed for me? I need to look that up. Um, cause I've had cats before, spoiler alert, I've had a Persian. She was wonderful. A bit of work, but she was wonderful. And I've had a, a, a regular, just bog standard, moggy, whatever you want to call it. I've had two. So I've had cats before, but I was kind of like, right, okay, um, I need to make sure that the breed and everything is is good. For AG, I wouldn't bring home a Bengal, right? You get what I mean? It needed to fit. So long story very short, so we're not rambling on about this forever because I don't think anyone cares enough to hear this because you can just watch my kitten video on my channel. I'll link it down below if I remember. I found out that British Shorthair Cats were one of the number one beginner breeds that you could possibly have. You could literally possibly have. And I was like, oh, shit, okay. After that, it was like, right, okay, there's a whole litter here. So male or female. So I was tossing between male or female and one or two cats at that point. So I wasn't really making the decision of, of the specific cat or anything. It was more like, does a cat fit? What is the best breed? And I sort of did it backwards. But every answer I came to came to these cats. So the reason I guess that I bought them is because I wasn't necessarily looking for a cat, let alone two. But the idea really, I mean, honestly, honestly, you guys have seen some of the photos of them as kittens. Come on now. How, do you even have a soul if you don't look at those and go, oh my God, let's make this work. So anyway, I kept on doing a lot of research on, hey, what's better, one cat or two? And then I learned very quickly that, hey, two cats are better. They're not a ton more expensive a month or anything like that. It's not exponential, um, but they are better for each other. And then I thought, okay. And it just so happens. It just so happens happens because again I didn't care on gender of the cat sex of the cat sorry my breeder my friend said I've got just just the cat for you or cats I think she said I've got just the boys for you you could take either one of them but believe me I've got the boys for you and she knew this based on my pony because my pony is a certain way okay and you will hear about him I know it's one of your questions my pony is a certain way he is so sweet he's very sensitive he's an overthinker like me not not so good sometimes okay not so good but he, he's he's very much like me he's very affectionate he's an absolute sweetheart I don't think there's anybody at that livery that doesn't love him he's so well schooled as well for his age he's fantastic I think he's seven now he was six when I got him I know, broke the rule there. Um, but he's just, he's just so nice for his age. But anyway, it's not about him. That's a different video. <laughs> but, oh, is that rotty? Okay, that might be rotty. That's a shame. So yeah, she said like literally based off the temperament of your horse, these two boys have you written all over them. And she wasn't pressuring me into, I don't want to like build a picture that she pressured me or anything. She said she like meet them or don't, you know, whatever, it's fine, no pressure at all. But if you did want them, there is my other cat with this litter or there's this litter. Um, and I knew that the mother had a very beautiful temperament. The other mother, the blue, was a bit more sassy. And I was like, no, <laughs> don't want a sassy cat. I want the cuddle monsters. And I know you can't guarantee that, but for some reason in animals, it helps, right? Helps to know temperaments and things. But anyway, wow, they really rotted at the base. I've got really, sorry, pause. I've got a really weird situation where these roots are healthy, but the, the base has rotted. So it's like, what the fuck do I do there? Because that's all rot. 
Oh no. I don't know what to do here. I'm going to remove some of them and just hope that that's not going to be a permanent issue. There's just this... In this one, there's weird sections of raw. Like, that's rotty there. So if I want to save it, I'm going to have to cut that. So I will just cut it because why not? If I'm going to disturb them, it's now. Literally, they've got nothing on them. Why? 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 No. So yeah, anyway. So obviously by the point I met them, literally, I the day I met them, I actually had the money in my pocket for them because I knew that once I'd met them, there's no way I was going to walk away without them. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. And I decided to take both of them because I got updates on them all the time and they ate together, they slept together, they cuddled together, they were absolute besties all the time. And I just thought, shit, if I'm going to take a cat, it should probably, unless those cats were going to go to single homes anyway and they're going to be split, then I'd take one. Otherwise, I'd, I'd rather leave it to somebody to take them together because I saw how they were and I was just like, oh my God. So eventually I bit the bullet and I was like, I'll have both. I can't, I can't bear it. And to be fair, the breeder, also my friend, was absolutely delighted that they've come to me. One, because she knows me and she knows we're in a good place because she's very, she doesn't, she, she cares a lot about where the kittens go, basically, is the easiest way of putting that. She's very, she, she worries, you know? Um, she was like, oh my God, couldn't have gone to a better place. And she was like, I can't, I, I'm so happy that they've gone together. Like, I couldn't have wanted that more. I think I'm the only person that took two. Um, and I've never looked back. But it's not because I'm against rescuing, is coming back to the really long convoluted point. I apologize, guys. It's not because I'm against rescuing or anything. It's just, it just didn't happen like that. And if I hadn't taken those, by that point, I was kind of thinking towards a Cat, so maybe I would have rescued. It's not that I wouldn't. What I will say on that is British short hair cats, which I'm not lying here. If you do Google it, they are one of the top breeds, if not the top breed of cat to get uh, if you want and just an easy cat sort of thing, especially when there's two of them. You feel me? But they, because they're kind of pedigree, you can you can get them from shelters. I'm not saying it's not possible, but it's very few and far between. It's quite rare. Generally, you don't see them because of, you know, their breeding and stuff. It's not something that tends to be... It sounds awful, doesn't it? It's not something that tends to be abandoned or things like that. It's just... It's really sad. Sometimes you get cats that have been uh, especially the boys that have done a bit of breeding in their life i don't know what the what's the word for it? it's not a stud that's horses i don't know what it is for cats but the equivalent of a stud um sometimes they get sold and stuff like that but yeah this this was just not something that it's just not something i planned guys so it's not that i'm against it or was against it it just didn't happen that way it happened very organically so there it is do you know what i mean i'm absolutely not against rescue i think it's absolutely great and i know plenty of people that have rescued um it's just I fell in love with the cat, not the concept by the time I'd met them, if that makes sense. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to go rescue a cat. I just, I just fell in love with them. And I, I, I'm honestly, I can't tell you how shit it would be without them. I just can't. I dropped them off before I went traveling this last time when I went to the Netherlands for a couple of days. Um, I dropped them off at the cattery. And then I had to get come home and get ready to leave. And that the house was empty for like an hour. And it was horrible. Now, don't get me wrong. They can be asleep in the corner of my house. And th there's no disturbance. But I just knew they weren't there. And it was worse for knowing they weren't there. Honestly, they mean the world to me, those cats. And I don't think there is a single person that hasn't met those cats that doesn't say that they're not absolutely amazing. Because they don't behave like cats. It's really weird, guys. Like, I'm not saying these are the only cats that do this. I'm saying I'm so pleased that mine are. Like, my cats have a really good habit of as soon as you walk into a room they will just flop over on their bellies and literally lie like that just waiting for attention right literally they're so friendly but i could literally get down over them put my head in them and rag them around they've never bitten they've never scratched they've never done anything they just take it they just take my shit do you know what i mean what what more can you want what more can you want they're uh, they're big now mind ooh, 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 ooh. i was talking about this the other day literally two days ago they are big boys now they are they're like nine months or something something like that eight nine months can't i can't remember the exact how old they are probably about nine months old and they're about five and a half kilograms they are big boys they're bigger than most cats i think they're not necessarily big for british short hairs but they're big for cats because people have met them and they've gone oh my god what the fuck is that <laughs> why is there two of it do you know what i mean all right let me just check the filming time 26 minutes we will just uh trim this oh should i guess what i've trimmed it to and i did this last time by the way and y'all were like did you deliberately trim it to that time i promise you i did not deliberately trim it to the time that i guessed it was so i'm gonna guess what the edit is on this <sighs> did i do much when i started yeah i'm gonna say three minutes off i'm gonna say it's 23 minutes ish now and then we'll we'll start and stop it so hopefully my guess was right anyway it probably isn't i mean last time i was i was nearly on the nose it was weird anyway right we're nearly done with these that's good 
So yeah, that's the cat thing anyway. Again, I'm not against it. It's literally just... It just didn't happen that way, guys. I'm absolutely... Honestly, if I had a big house, holy shit. The amount of animals I'd have, it's not even funny. It's not even funny. Animals mean the world to me. They really do. Like, I don't need children. Trust me. Trust me. When you have these two boys, you don't need children. I have two toddlers, I promise you. Very fat, very stupid toddlers. <laughs> that's not a reflection on toddlers. That's a reflection on my cats, okay? I literally, I don't need anything more. I've got nearly everything I need right now. You know what I mean? Just a couple of couple of bits missing, guys, but they're not very big bits. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm just pulling some shit off here. I don't like the way that these look a bit rotty near the the you know the merry stem of the plant, and then at the bottom they're fine. Like, how the fuck do you deal with that? I'll have to just cut them all off. And it's choco. And if I've ever mentioned this before, choco don't like being disturbed. They're really easy, guys, and they are. I promise they are. But you gotta leave them alone. <laughs> you can't propagate them very well because then they hate you and then they will die. But if you actually leave them and grow them you can underwater them you can overwater them whatever you need they're fine um it's it's when you do this and it's when you propagate so even this is probably fine it's not too bad but if i start to cut no point like when these get sold they will be sold as is because there's just no point just no point whenever i've propagated from in the past if you guys remember i used to have i don't have them anymore but i had like a whole tray of choco i think they lived down here actually i have like 25 of them and when i would propagate them it would mainly be a head cutting and i'd just be like oh shit i'd time them take them leave them maybe sometimes i'd try a little bit of you know normal node cuttings but it would never go well it would never go well it maybe about two in ten survived do you know what i mean so i eventually just got lazy i lobbed the heads off and by that point they got so ugly and topply i think i don't know what happened to them maybe they just dried out because i haven't seen a chocolate in this place for a while these are now one of few that i even have in so there you go there's the tea on choco but uh they are good plants guys you just you just can't fuck with them just leave them alone just leave them alone I, it's not something although i don't think they're super expensive now anyway but what i would say is it's not something that you can make good money off in terms of the logistics of propagating them i actually don't know what they're worth anymore probably not a lot but i still love them so i'm gonna sell them you know gotta do what you love guys gotta do what you love right these are they're not great you know they're not great oh is that just a raw group i'm like oh, that's nice yeah I'm, I'm a bit worried about some of them but this like i say it's a it's a check in a week situation i've really just said fuck it and left half of this on haven't i let me just have a look at this oh i'm actually gonna cut that you know i'd rather not take the risk just in case and make it worse. So I've been a lot kinder to this first one. Definitely. I don't want to be kind to it. I don't want to hurt it, but I want to be kind to it. Oh, that's a bit rot there. How have I missed this? What was I doing? Was my head up my ass for this first plant? Honestly, this is quite... What? How have I managed this? How the fuck have I managed this? Let me cut that off. This is just... This is actually quite embarrassing that I've left that much on. What was my first question that was so captivating? Nothing, really. Fertilizer, probably. That's very odd. Anyway... That will do, I think. Maybe it's the other ones that smell, but I, I didn't see any rot on the other ones. Just debris. So, choco. Here, there aren't many. There is one, two, three, four, five. That sounds about right. I'm just going to pop them in here, swizzle them around. So if they are a bit rotty or have got bits on them, they will uh, get the shit off. But it is literally, guys, it is just water. There's nothing special in it. My special stuff is not in it. Um, right. So these, I'm just going to pick through them and check them. Same thing, same thing. I will do it this way round. And we will just have a look. And I will get another case, John. Yeah, these are really woody. So, what do we have? Uh, ooh. <laughs> right. Uh, these are a bit more personal. Um, and I wrote them down. And then I thought I'd decide whether I was going to answer them or not. <sighs> okay, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Come what may. God love, come what may. So one of my questions was, it was based off last week's, uh, not last week, it's probably two weeks ago now. The last report, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Uh, the last two weeks of shenanigans in that report. Um, asking me some questions about my Rainbow Club membership. Um, a few people were a little bit confused about what I meant by the memberships. I, I'm just going to come out and just, just be, I don't even think I'm going to sugarcoat this anymore. Basically, I used to think I was less gay than what I was, is what I was trying to allude to in that video that's what i meant was you know bronze membership is you know less but i've upgraded but that way so that pretty much tells you everything you need to know hey that i don't know why i didn't just say that at the time i felt a bit i don't know i felt i felt weird about it to be honest um the response from you guys has actually helped me this week i actually want to say that i know i've already thanked you and stuff but your response from that is is already helping because there's questions i've got written down that i really didn't feel great about answering but i feel better about answering so we're gonna see and you know what if it never comes out you won't even see this particular bit of footage because i'll just cut it anyway hey so yeah um so there was some questions asked based off what what I was saying about that anyway, and it was like, 
Guys, I darted around it. I darted around it because uh, I thought the question that I'd written down was slightly different and I was a bit nervous last week, but it wasn't. I thought the question was like, are you in a relationship? Not, um, do you have time for that? So my bad. Uh, so I got the dart out of it at the last minute. So I kind of answered the question in a way that it looked like I was completely alone with my two cats. And uh, that's not really true uh so <laughs> so that's that here i am actually quite nervous <laughs> I, listen i don't talk about myself on camera you know this you know i don't do it i don't do it but i just i don't know how long i want to live that way and I've, i said this last time i'm feeling it out i'm really feeling it out some of your comments were fantastic though honestly i know i keep going back to it but they honestly were really really nice comments nice comments also how many rainbow people are there on my fucking channel hello how you doing ladies boys he she they's where you been like i didn't even know that my comment sections was that full of the gays that's amazing honestly you y'all surprised me y'all really surprised me if you are put a little rainbow in the comments because we love it only if you want to i like to genuinely say show of hands at this point i was very pleasantly surprised because nearly every comment was like mm, yeah yeah same and i'm like really shit love that love that i've been able to attract to that that makes me feel so good so even when everything was hidden not that i hid it from myself well that's that's a big discussion i suppose but even when everything was hidden i was still attracting y'all you're still sexy to me you know what i mean i love that i really love that so i'm trying to pick off some shit off these roots and I, i'm not getting it all off i can tell i'm not getting it all off maybe when it goes into the water oh, what's a root <laughs> when it goes into the water will it come off let me just hold that thought guys does it come off uh, no so what's happened is the roots have grown into it oh goody I mean, it sort of comes off. Not really. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. But yeah, um, so I had a few questions around the subject anyway. Do I have like two or three? One was, are you dating anyone? Uh, anyone special, it says. I don't even think you said dating anyone. I don't think you said dating anyone special. And the other one was, are you sharing your membership with anyone? Which I assume you're, I, I get what you're putting down and you both mean the same thing. Um, so yeah, basically, yeah, uh, I am. <laughs> And that feels really weird to say because again, I don't, I don't, that's so weird because I don't say that on this channel, right? But like, not that I'm trying to compare myself to everyone else, but everyone else does it all the time. And it's like, it's not a weird thing for anybody else. It shouldn't be a weird thing for me. Um, I do have external reasons why that's weird, but you'll never, I don't think you'll ever come to know why it's super weird for me. Um, but it's just, I don't know, it feels really weird for me to say that. But yes, yes, yes. And she is awesome, but she knows that, don't you? So that's, that's that. Hey, God, I'm going giddy. Sorry, I'm really focusing, hyper-focusing on these roots. And it's like, I don't know how much I can focus on picking the tiniest little piece on a root while I'm just like dying inside over here. But yes, yes, I am. So that answers kind of both of your questions. Um, not for too long. It's not been a long-standing thing. I'm not going to go into details. Not right now. Again, I've said this before. Um, if you want to ask questions on Repot, I either will or won't answer. So you're not offending me by asking. Because I've sort of, if you think about it, I've opened the door for that. So obviously, if I open the door for you, if you walk in, I'm not going to be mad. That, that make any sense. But yeah, hang on. Oh, oh, how dead is this one? Oh, cut that off a bit. Didn't like that route. It was uh, not rotten, guys, but it was snapped. It was snapped. I think we'll leave that as it is. Leave that as it is, that one. I'll put that there for now. It's it's just roots have grown into some of the shit and it's, it's not going to come off. It'll be okay. I'm not too worried. But yeah, what other questions did you have? That might have been the only question about that specifically. And again, I can't... I d I'm not in a place where I can go into detail or anything because it's, it's obviously private. But yes, um, and honestly, I've never felt better. I will say that. I've never felt better. I've never felt more like me than what I currently do. And it's mental because the weird thing is people on the outside are going to see all these changes. But really, that's like the person that's actually been underneath the whole time. So I'm not really changing. I'm just taking the layers off. Does this make any sense to anybody? Like, I'm just trying to be who I actually should have been. And this might now make more sense um, because I've sort of, I've beaten around the bush a bit less. I'm just trying to be who I've always wanted to be, who I always thought at times that I was but I wasn't sure and again big discussion guys don't even know when and where to have that I literally don't know maybe it's a second channel video I don't know it's maybe not for this one let's be honest um not for any nasty reason just it's people are here for plants I know they're here for some personal stuff but in the context of plants do you know what I mean but yeah so I'm sure I will talk about it in full when I'm good and ready um won't be anytime soon I think at least six months don't know but just so you know it's going good it's going good hasn't been long standing but I'm sure it will um yeah 
having having good time just sounds that makes it sound shit as in like it's not important it is i'm just trying to play it down a bit for y'all but yeah i'm having a good time so you know what i'm so impressed with these paws honestly i'm so impressed with these plants the, on, nothing bad has happened no crisp no floppiness no yellowing like they, guys there's nothing on these it is not common right when i bring stuff into the shop there's been here at least two three weeks now right this, this is what you're looking at i bring stuff into the shop this rarely happens where there is no drop no damage no nothing no wilting no just like as if they just come in it I, I can't even think of a plant where this also happens the spathophyllum are very good when they come in the the spathophyllum ghost they're great they don't really do much you might get a little bit of yellowing though um what else fuck there's not a lot honestly i think even stuff like the syngonium that is super strong they can drop some leaves and be a bit yellow or whatever these are just insane in fact maybe i've got over there it's not a much point sort of walking over but i've got some syngonium over there that have probably done the same as this but generally speaking honestly this doesn't happen it just doesn't happen so i'm very very pleased about this it's very nice right i do think it's time for another question though guys i can't <laughs> i can't linger on this one too long right some of this shit is coming off what else have we got um someone said something about oh i'm so sorry i can't remember your full question because I've, I've abbreviated it in a rush and now i can't remember the question it was something like how do you wait why would you ask that never mind you were asking me like how as a semi-gay or however gay person that one is how you go about meeting more feminine women because i actually i actually do agree with this to be honest it, it's not uh, i don't want to say it's not easy i don't please if anyone thinks i'm speaking out of term i do apologize i'm trying to navigate this okay but the in my opinion there aren't many femme women rainbow women out there so you're asking me how i manage but i don't know why you'd ask <laughs> Um, cause I'm actually, I, w I wouldn't say I was femme, to be honest, I bet loads of people sat there on their couches going, well, duh. Yeah. Um, I'd be shocked if you thought I was, although to be fair, I will say this to you, if you actually look at my videos when I started my YouTube channel, I could see why you'd think that, because holy shit, have you seen that person? I don't know who the hell that is, guys. I look at just thumbnails for those videos and I look and I'm like, who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Y'all ain't swearing, you sat there like you barely even moving, you've got all your hair down you've got your lashes up what the fuck who the fuck are you literally so maybe based on that maybe you think that i am but i'm probably not and it's funny because i had to ask the wonderful woman that i'm seeing uh but it wasn't even weeks ago this was months ago now i had to say like listen i actually don't know what i am <laughs> and she's like what do you mean i was like well like, uh, like what what am i because i'm not them i'm not like because there's like there's loads of different like variations right in the in the i don't know category you know what i'm saying right the vibe is different okay you know what i'm saying guys they're all different and i was like i don't know where the fuck i fit in apparently if this helps you at all i'm a fudge i had to fucking google that shit and i don't even know if she knows that but when she told me ages ago i think she told me over text i had to google it because i didn't know what the fuck that meant so i guess it's feminine oh god she's gonna be like no okay that's not what it means it's like feminine and masculine elements right but you can you can lean more you generally lean, lean feminine i think but then there's like bits i'd like oh god i'm i'm, like, I'm gonna google it literally <laughs> listen i don't want to fuck this up come on now this is educational content here let me have a look can't believe i'm doing this this is just god right hang on fudge no fudge meaning there is also an emerging usage of the so of term soft butch stem stood femme yeah that's no 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 fudge feminine butch or chapstick no, 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 no. that's not telling me what it is the fuck man hang on uh yeah both femme and butch i'm not butch though you know what? I'm none the wiser. So I'm going to go with my original explanation because even Google is like, I don't know. So that's helpful. Thanks, Google. Uh, real good. But yeah. So in terms of meeting, I suppose, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm that feminine. I think I can look it, honestly. Um, but it's really weird. Does anyone remember me mentioning a long time ago? You probably, I don't even know what video it would be on, but I mentioned something like I've quit wearing dresses and stuff. I sort of, I think I was like leveling down way before I actually realized I was changing, should we say. But I wouldn't say that I was, to be honest so i can't really give you tips on meeting them uh, there's plenty of memes about it on tiktoks <laughs> plenty of memes and they're all very funny but i don't know it's good gay bars i guess <laughs> how, how else dating apps how, how do they do it these days because everyone's long distance right that's definitely a trope i've noticed i don't know I, I wish i had tips for you i wish i had tips for you i would love to know what uh my partner would say because uh, she probably get better advice than me to be honest someone asked her last week it was like oh does she want to be on camera i, th I think she'd probably rather die <laughs> 
Sorry if that's wrong, but I think she'd probably rather die than be on camera, quite honestly. Never say never, never say never. Maybe I can get her to do a drinking game in like a couple of years or something. But I think she'd rather die, guys. No offence to you, no offence to you. It's just... This is, the, again, this is why I never put anything on camera, because not, not everyone wants this. Do you know what I mean? Not everyone wants that kind of... It's, it's weird, guys, it's weird. Like right now, I'm talking to you guys, but I'm not really. I'm talking to a fucking camera lens in, in an empty unit, do you know what I mean? It is, it is weird. Not everyone wants that but you never know i think you maybe you'll see a photo or something eventually but I, I wouldn't hold your breath for it um that's not really it's partially up to me it's a lot of it's actually up to her so it's however she feels calling the shots on that one so i don't really know i've drifted away from this point what was your point your point was yeah how do you do it uh, well i didn't really this or I, listen i'm not getting into how we met <laughs> we met online i will say that <laughs> i will not say anything else um but yeah I, I actually don't have any advice for you ask me in six months maybe i might have a better answer you gotta remember guys i'm so like i might have been how i've been my entire life obviously this isn't like a revelation so to speak but i'm not cultured in it because i haven't lived in it this makes sense and this is gonna make sense for so many people at home i already know literally i already know you you're sat there going oh my god yes i haven't lived in it. i'm not cultured in it so there's a lot that i don't know i'm having to learn it all and i'm having fun learning it but there's a lot to pick up there's a lot to pick up um so i can't really help you with that but i hope that you do <laughs> i hope that you have fun just go out meet people um maybe dating apps i mean personally i hate dating apps i think they're no matter who's using them i just think they're really miserable good lord like i'd rather jump off a bridge than uh, go on tinder to be honest it's just ugh. i think the other ones are much better really don't get me wrong there's there is a, a need for them i'm not saying that you shouldn't use them i'm just saying personally i felt worse you know um the, the last time i was on a dating app it made me feel worse really weird i just had like lower self-esteem going on it than if i didn't bother really bizarre really really bizarre anyway let's shift on from that was there any other how are you romantically oh does that not answer the question a little bit <laughs> you know i guess that does answer it for now if you want to re-ask me that's fine you can re-ask me if you don't think i've answered that you can ask me next time it's fine i imagine the more we do this the more i might talk i don't know we'll see uh what else we got we might be moving away from that now uh what have i got sorry i'm struggling to read my own writing guys <laughs> this is bad this is bad bad let me just check the time real quick uh we've, we've got time for a little bit more uh oh this is completely different so we're just gonna just, just literally just float away from that subject now and it was what is your worst experience with a customer as in like as a vendor i think you said uh oh guys i've had a few i've had a few and it, honestly i would have loved to have been that guy that's done like without revealing identities or anything but like just talking about some of the stuff that's happened to me um i think it would have made a great video but i also have tried to like draw the line of professionalism because i'm not just i don't just want to be a youtuber that sells plants kind of thing so there's a lot of lines that i haven't really broke um but we've been here a while now um what's some bad stuff oh i've had people what have i had there was the bad one was it oh, was it last year late last year i would say it was a bad one i mean it was fine i won the case but it was horrific someone bought i think it was like four either three or four thousand pounds worth of plants and then just i think it was about 45 or 50 days later was like yeah this is dead now and obviously if you didn't know this my policy is 10 days um they were literally like yeah it's dead now and i was like i'm really sorry that that's fucking the amount of things you could kill in for you could kill a person in 45 days do you know what i mean i was like i'm sorry i can't help you that's the policy is this really sorry um and they just they took it to i don't think it was paypal i think it was is it stripe or square i'm with now it might be square stripe square one of the two the other payment option isn't paypal I can't remember what it is guys sorry um because i don't really get anything through there um they went through and said did they just say that it was <sighs> i can't remember the the actual reason they gave anyway but they basically said all oh, the item is I think they said it got delivered or whatever, but it was like faulty or something. I don't actually know because this is a long time ago. I don't actually know what they said, but they did that. But because they were doing that and they had that case, they actually brought up another case of a plant where there was actually nothing wrong with the plant. They just spent loads of money on another plant. I wish I could remember the plant. I think one of them was a Whipple back then when they were really expensive. Um, I don't know what the other plant was, you know. I'm really sorry. I actually don't know what the other one was. I'm sure one of them was a Whipple, uh, Whipple Way. 
and they just put the other case up for a laugh. So the, the, potentially, if you think about it, it's like, I'm sure it was about three and a half, four grand or something. I don't know exactly, but they tried to actually get all the money back despite having the plants. Now, listen, I'm very sorry your plant died. If you happen to be watching this, I kind of hope you aren't because why the fuck would you? I'm really sorry your plant died, but you've got to tell me. You've got it. Like, you've got to email. You can't not. I can't help you. And it's got to be within 10 days. We don't have to respond within 10 days, by the way, because a lot of people get a bit worried about that. If you've emailed within 10 days, see you've emailed on day eight when you've noticed a problem um, and we, we haven't responded, it's okay. Your emails come through in good timing from delivery. You don't have to worry about that at all. Honestly, we'll take care of you. That's not the problem. But 45 days? What? No, 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 no. Come, come on now. Come on. Literally, what do you think this is? Cost of farms? No, obviously not. So I won that. That was a bit shit. Um, but that wasn't necessarily like I didn't have to deal with the customer's like bad attitude or anything because it was very, it was quietly done because they were taking the piss. So they're not really going to argue. I had a good one in, I think it was 2020. Some, uh, was she German? I don't know. If you want to look hard enough, you probably find it. But that's not my fault. That's her fault. She, there was a problem with a philodendron white wizard. I think it had got there. It didn't get there well. It must have been earlier in the year when it was cold or something. And I think what happened was she got it. It might have dropped a couple of leaves or whatever. Um, and I think my, whoever was on admin at the time said, um, what do you think's happened? And they, they ran with that and they're like, what? Well, you don't know. You don't know how your own shop sends and delivers stuff and what this could be. Blah, blah, blah. We're like, no, I'm just saying, well, what do you think's happened to? It. like have you had cold weather like you're in a different country if you don't mind we're trying to help long story short we replied i think we got a really nasty email saying something like oh if you don't respond in 24 hours um i'm just taking it to paypal because i'm done waiting but we'd already been responding very timely within that maybe within 24 hours of that we were actively dealing with we were just trying to assess what's gone wrong and what the process of action was um, but anyway she sent a really nasty email and she she went to her YouTube channel and then just sort of spouted a lot of shit, really, and made me look really bad. So I, uh, <laughs> I came on and I basically said, look, in her comment section, again, astute people are among you will, uh, will find this. Not that I'm inviting you to. I've got to stop you there. I'm not inviting you to. Don't even dare. If I find out anybody has done that on my behalf, you will be absolutely ejected from this channel. Do not do that. You've asked a question. I'm answering it years later. I don't expect it to do anything. But anyway, so she'd written some shit and I was like, wow, that's, that's one-sided as fucking shit. That is not really what happened. We offered her a refund for the plant and she got to keep the plant. And she still wanted to go on her YouTube and spout some shit. So she did. And uh, I came on uh, so, something along the lines of, I can't, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know. And I said something along the lines of, two seconds in case this actually goes off. One moment, guys. Sorry, sorry. Where is it? Uh, where's the button? There. Uh, no, that's not the button. Where the fuck is this button? Oh my god, sorry, guys. I'll just use this. There we go. So I came on her comment section. I said, look, I, I wouldn't do this. This is not something I do because I don't. I don't. I said, look, you've involved my business pretty fucking publicly here. Um, I just want to let everyone know what you actually said to me because it was quite rude. I don't even think I said it was quite rude. I just said, by the way, you left out some context or something. And I think I said, uh, I'll just like put what you wrote and uh, it got it got real quiet after that. And I think, I don't think the person had a ton of subscribers or anything and I wasn't coming to bully them. It was just like, hey, you're really trying to like share this on your Instagram, make it do a thing. And it's not fair. This isn't what happened. And uh, it went real quiet after that. And I think someone said, oh, they commented on it saying, see, be nice, you get nice back kind of thing. So I think it was acknowledged that she was just really like... <sighs> Some people just are, guys. Some people just are. And now, don't get me wrong. I'm not still angry at the person. It's, it's, it's what it is. It's fine. Um, but, and it was 2020 and I'm not excusing them. Just a lot of people were horrible in 2020. Um, but you just don't need to be like that, man. I've had, I've had to refuse service for a few people as well. There was someone, oh, we had, was it UPI gate at some point? Fucking, I assume it was 2020. Could have been 2021. I had to refuse someone's service because they were just, <sighs> I think we were, I can't even, I don't want to speak on it too much because I can't remember the full thing of what happened, but it was about a UPI and 
I said that they were not in stock or something. So I think the person had bought it and it died, it was getting replaced, I can't remember what it was, or something like that. What was it? I don't like to misquote myself. I could find out because I'll have the old emails. But long story short, this person was really, really rude and it was in the really old shop tour, the old shop, and they'd seen the UPI in the video and then it all went tits up. And they were like, listen, you've that's my UPI that. And I'm like, it's not. That's just come in. No one can have that. And when I say there's one in stock, there's probably two in stock because if something happens, there is a replacement sat there. Because too many times in the past, and I've learned this from having a shop, guys, too many times in the past, if I had 20 of a plant, I would put 20 up for sale. And let me tell you, by the time they've gone through a root check, sometimes, not all the time, sometimes one will just peg it. One will just die, rot. It just doesn't like life. I mean, I could literally tell you how many times it's happened with things like Choco that I, you know, potted earlier. Potted, chopped, whatever, pruned. It happens all the time. So I learned that very quickly with running the shop. So if I have 20 plants, I'll say I have 15. If it gets to near the end, the sale and the sum, I'll check and maybe I'll put another three up. But generally, I like to keep a couple back to, to switch them out with if something's gone wrong. It's a little bit different when I sell specific variegated plants. That's why I do A, B, C, D. And sometimes I have had to refund people and I've said, look, this has gone to it's gone to shit since I sold it. So specifically when it goes to other countries, because when you buy it, there is a wait time. And there's a wait time because we have to get a big enough batch to organize an inspection on because the inspection is charged by, it's not even the hour, it's less than that. It's like not by the minute, but it's by like the half hour or 15 minutes or whatever. There's a minimum fee you can get for that. You have to pay for them to come out. You pay for their time. Their time also, I think, or at least it used to be, it counts them physically driving to you and everything else. And they have to be here, do all the, the certificates and everything. It takes some fucking time, guys. And these people have to physically come here, look through all the plants themselves and inspect them go through there sometimes they'll do it on site here sometimes they won't they'll go away they'll produce the phytos they will either post them back or if they're on site which is both longer and shorter then we'll take them and then we'll box them this is why there is the delay it is literally the the logistics of organizing that inspection if that inspection falls too late in the week say it happens on a friday which is rare we're not going to post them on a friday we will then wait again this is why there's normally delays literally um so what was my point? Yeah. So anyway, this this person was just like, that's mine, that's mine. And I was like, it's not. It's not for sale. That, that's back up. Because one's already died anyway. And I think there was another customer that was like, hang on a minute. This is odd. Let's get to the bottom of this. There was no tea. There was nothing to get to the bottom of. One of them died. One of them was waiting or something. And again, I can't remember the logistics of it because it wasn't important because it was nothing at all. The situation was nothing at all. This person was so fucking nasty. They did what everyone likes to do with me. And they went off on Instagram for clout because that's the professional professional thing to do apparently I don't respond obviously and I just thought at the time I remember at the time and I just I just fucking screenshotted it and saved it it was a bit petty I'm gonna to be totally honest it was it really was screenshot and saved it I think and I think she come back around in the, like the next year or six months later or something like wanting a UPI and I, I personally responded I don't respond to admin uh, I have someone else that does it but I personally responded and I refused her service based on how she was and I can't remember if I sent the screenshots that is a level of petty I can get behind there you go. So don't get me wrong. I will have so many more bad, um, bad memories of customers. And I tell you what, ask me again in a few weeks because I might remember some absolute bangers because let me tell you, let me tell you, I've had it all. I have had it all. Honestly, it's, it's really good. Actually, I could probably make a whole video. It's just, I think I'd want to go back through the emails and find out exactly what's happened because I don't, I don't want to miss quote something just because I can't remember it because then it seems like I'm lying about it and I'm not. Makes sense? So I don't want to do that. But ask me again in a few weeks. I'll probably have some more for you. And don't get me wrong, that's not, those aren't majorly bad. I think the worst one was just the person that ordered thousands of pounds worth of plants and then just thought, nope, uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> not doing that. Um, but yeah, that's them. That's them really. And I think that does bring us to a close, guys. My hands are freezing cold. Um, again, we will do one of these in the future, definitely within the next four weeks probably because I'm going to be very busy. It is Christmas. It'll either come out as an extra or a Friday video. Really depends what I've got on. I do have a rare plant index that I am. I need to finalise. Actually, uh, I'll not tell you what it's on yet, but I think it'll be interesting enough for you. It is. Uh, it should be an aroid anyway. Uh, so yeah, there's some stuff coming. I just can't tell you what it is, other than I know that I do have a rare plant index in the works. If you've got any suggest, sorry, there's a gnat. How dare you? If you've got any suggestions for content, again, you can leave it here. You can leave it on Instagram comment. I do tend to put little boxes up occasionally on my Instagram stories uh, to ask you what kind of content you want, but do let me know. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching this one. <laughs> Bit weird. And yeah, if you want my merch, it should be in the carousel below. If not, it will be linked in my description. It probably says buy my merch or something. And it's that link there. And you should find it along with all my other merch. But this is the new shit. This is the new shit and I love it. This is, I can't remember what size this is. In the past, I've worn like a, like a really big one because I kind of like it. But it's in the wash, so I couldn't wear the big one today. I'm a little bit sad. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Please leave any comments you like down below. I love reading them especially the last time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.